So when I'm kind of going on a walk, I'll like look around me and note things and write things down. And often I'm kind of looking around on the ground for stuff to pick up because I'm really intrigued by left things that people have left or dropped or lost. The colour of that and the idea that people probably walk past this and kind of see a rusty old chunk of metal, but I see almost like a painting. And the be- that look at that turquoise against the grey. Do you see what I mean? So that's, that's what, so I'm kind of, I, that's what catches my eye. This. And I'm just curious about it, it's a kind of a marking on a wall, so I might photograph that mm-hmm. and have that. So like I'm recording the journey. So here we are in Alma Street. Yeah. And I'll take a photograph of the street sign. That looks like an age. So you see, there was this sort of whole thing of kind of occupying the city. So, and then if I'm really brave, I might lie down. Kind of an idea of the scale of the figure in the structure of architecture. I think it's really fascinating. There's always a dead pigeon. But wow. And I think it's where it is against the curb. Days I tend to go into a different space. So everyone's going around there every day, just going to the pub and the cafe and chatting and whatever it is. And I'm like this other thing in this different world, completely separate from it all. And it's kind of, for me, creating something that just reveals the city in a very different way. The challenging thing about that is how separate can you be in a city? I think a lot of it is exploring isolation and I think a lot of it is exploring being alone, which we are so much of the time. Maybe writing it, architectural detail. But then the other thing that I'm interested in is doorway to nowhere. So that might become the title of something, or part of a bit of text, or a piece of work in itself. That'd be great in neon, wouldn't it? It'd be great in what? Neon. <laughs> neon? Neon light. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. It's a porcelain because there's so much that's about people leaving a mark where they scratch. You know, they scratch into surfaces and they paint on the surfaces and it leaves this idea of the human being having such impact upon the environment. But that's like so bold and lovely, isn't it? Brilliant. So then I might actually recreate something like that and scratch something into some plaster and have that in the show. Yes. So come along for somehow how the timing is perfect. Someone's just <laughs> concreted this thing and they've seen it and gone like that. And the informality of that against kind of real formality of the grill. You know that thing that cities have, which I think is so powerful. And then suddenly I can see this, which is like the yellow blobs are like abstract paintings to me. And now I have a desire to make my own mark on them, but I don't, I never do that. <laughs> but if you, walk, if you look right down this wall, this is like kind of, for me, it's like a show, this. Look at all these lovely squares with the circle. And these yellow, now I saw these houses from the other side. They must have been lived in. Really? Well, they must have been workers. I don't know that. So now that's the other thing you see I'd do. I'd take a rubber in a bit. But usually I have like a knife with me or a Would you clean some up? Yeah. And I'd collect some off, but I can do it. Oh, look at that. Start at that end. And I could sample this whole section, like so sort of sample it from the different kind of surface on the wall, the moss on the floor, the detritus, the vegetation. So it's, it's it, is it about seeing beautiful things in that aren't really beautiful? Yes. I think it might be. Because that tends to be a bit of a cliche, doesn't it? It is a cliche, isn't it? I might think I'm just too cliche. But I'm just amazed. I don't think it is about my work. It's about the process. It's about the process. 
I want because I think I'm not going to do this for much longer. This is probably my final thing. So I want it to be recorded. Um, what do you mean your final exhibition? No. Or this type uh, of exhibition. This type of, I think. Yeah. Let's see. Are you a bit daunted about filling that gallery? I think I was initially, but I'm not anymore because I think with the work that we're doing together, that's going to occupy the space beautifully. I think that whole idea of playing with scale is important, so something really small but quite powerful in a large space sometimes has more resonance than something really large that might not say much. So, And actually, the more times I go, the gallery doesn't seem as big as when I first saw it. The challenge, I think, will be is because I've got quite a bit of stuff. Because I've got stuff from Sheffield and stuff from Bradford, and now I'll have, you know, work mm -hmm. from Nottingham. It's how to curate that, that'll be the challenge. Okay. So, oh look, look at that. What I'll do is photograph that. What is it? It's just a lifelike, but... Oh God, it looks like... It, it looks, looks like, a heart, like a heart, I know, but that's what, I, that's what attracted me. It's like, when does a bit of bike light become... <laughs> Would that become part of something then? Yeah. You know, it's like from a distance, it's, it's like a little bit of treasure to me. So now for me, it's about how do I get a good photograph? I'm going to be taking a photograph to no. be shown. So I'm very aware of the composition, wow. of what it's, where it's positioned in the frame. So it's not just a record? No. No. Because you're changing then the sense of the object by photographing it and then removing it and placing it in a gallery or another space. I'll do a drawing on that. Oh. Yeah. I really like that yellow. Mickey Flanagan, back in the game. Seated floor FBA, row E, seat 10. Sometimes I walk past stuff because it doesn't say anything to me or it doesn't interest me. It's just some things say, pick me up or look appealing. And I just like the way the plastic fork, you know, the pink bright plastic against the beautiful autumnal leaf. Ooh. It's really nice. The kind of idea of the scale of the figure in the structure of architecture, I think it's really fascinating. vibrations of the city when you lie down you can feel it all and you can feel it all, but yet you're surrounded by this lovely kind of peaceful power and space all of a sudden
and I'm like this other thing in this different world, completely separate from it all. The challenging thing about that is how separate can you be in a city? And I think a lot of it is exploring isolation. And I think a lot of it is exploring being alone, which we are so much of the time. I don't know, it's something I'm driven to do. I like the idea of discovery. It's a bit like being a child as well, you're playing. You know, you're, you're giving yourself permission to explore, which is what artists do. I'm just not taking this seriously. <laughs> There's a really nice feather as well. So. With chips still on it. <laughs> so I'm, I've gone past the point now worrying what people think. Never did anything like that before. So is that what you're saying about being allowing yourself to yeah. be playful? Yeah. It's good, isn't it? Everybody should do it. <laughs> <laughs> Therapy. I'm outside of my kind of everyday life and probably most people's everyday life. It's, it's the very stuff that our cities are made from, isn't it? And look at that colour. It's absolutely beautiful. This is really vivid. And then you compare that to the stuff around the corner. The stuff. Mm -hmm. It's really sweet. It's a really important thing that I want to do. Um, because it's part of my story. It's part of my life. And it becomes part of the history, really, of me as an artist. So, and I'm just curious, I really want to know what this building was or is and why is it eroded like this and it's just so fascinating. Mm. Again, it's like a piece of art in itself, isn't it? You know? It's like an installation. It's a, it's a beautiful surface gorgeous structure which has a story and it's very powerful. Yeah, it's great. beautiful traces of you know, people in these doors. It's just, and look at the paint peeling and the hinges. Oh my God, yeah. You could do a whole project on this, these doors. It's, it's just like stunning and that's just absolutely beautiful. Isn't it?